I'm Tony Fast, and my family has been blessed to be able to farm in Montana for over 100 years now. A lot has changed in those 100 years, and it wouldn't be possible without the great team we have and blessings from our Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, oil change in the 580. Uh, Hayden had gone through and he checked all the, the bogey wheels and the oil on all the tractors. That one, I believe, is all ready to go besides an oil change and just a few other filters that need changing. service uh, truck to the rescue. Okay, I admit, I saw the tire was low, but I didn't think it was that low. We give up. We're taking it to the shop. So the rhinoceros not by itself did not work. So we're going to try this. We didn't find any rhino snot on us, but it sure flew all over the shop. Watch again. So the 450 has a few oil leaks on it, some hydraulic lines and stuff like that that we're going to replace. And uh, we pulled the muffler off of this because it was all paint was all falling off of it. Going to repaint that and then a couple wheel seals. Go figure, right? 2019, the year of the wheel seal. So we got all the engine oil in. Notice there's still no muffler on it. Gotta at least try it, right? Wait for it. Wait for it. Not sure what that's all about. Uh oh. Ooh, it almost fired. Fuel filter. Oh yeah, we did change the fuel filter too. We gotta let that prime up. <laughs> we got our spray trailer in the shed here, or in the shop. Um, get everything bolted down. Try and give you guys a little tour what we got going on here. This thing is all set up. Lots of yellow handles. Uh, we can suck on from a ground tank to fill the uh, trailer, I guess. There's two tanks, 230s, 3,000 gallons right in there on it. And uh, we can suck on with one pump, fill the tanks, we can fill the sprayer with the same pump off the trailer. We can pull off a tanker, pull off the ground, all that, kind of nice and handy. This right here, kind of hard to see, it's tight here in the shop, but we can put two Roundup sh uh, shuttles up top there, and then we can put two down here. The gravity feed into this yellow cone here, so we can fill the sprayer in like 11 minutes or under. 1200 gallon tank on the sprayer. So that's really handy. Uh, we've got an air compressor on here. One of our pumps that we use for pumping out of the ground shuttles is an air powered pump. So that's what that's on there for. 
Something just doesn't quite look right here. What could it be? Oh, that's better. Now I bet you want to know how we did it. Safety first. Get hooked to the spray trailer. We can just get rid of that thing. Make it stop squeaking. Nick, what have you been working on? Hydraulic pump for the fan. And a seal leaking. Would you try essential oil first, like a little lavender? Okay. What we thought was a uh, hydraulic pump gasket leaking ends up being a output shaft. I mean input shaft. And uh, yeah, get that done and one or two more wheel seals, right yet, Nick? And yep. this thing's out of here? Yep, we'll be good to go. Good to go, he says. Dad's knocking the outer races out of the hub. We're going to put some new bearings and a new seal on this uh, bogey wheel. Sometimes you have some uh, non-shop projects to work on. They may or may not have been sitting in the shop for six months. Like this chair. Time to put some fuel in. Got a few tires I need to add air to on the drill yet. Got to change openers on it yet. A few other things I'm sure. Thanks for watching episode three. Next episode, episode four, I'm gonna explain this big old beast. Aren't you excited? What's that noise? Next time. See you boys. God bless. Kitty pool and a field lake? What could go wrong? Oh, the life of a farm kid.